uh, hello all welcome to my next tutorial about the single channel relay module and i'll explain you how it works in this tutorial so as you can see we have a uh, v plus which is nothing but an input 5 voltage which is required for the working of the relay next you have a ground pin which should be ground, which should be connected to the ground and then you have an input pin uh, based on which the relay will be switched or the relay will be triggered. Now on the other side of the relay module you have three output terminals. One is NC which is nothing but normally closed. C is, is for common and NO is nothing but normally open. So now this is a normally closed relay. That means as I show here you have NC, C and NO. So in case of a normally closed relay, this will be a closed circuit always and when the input is triggered, this becomes open and NC and NO becomes a closed circuit. So uh, when I explain it based on the with respect to the relay module, by default or initially your C and NC terminals will be connected internally and when you give an input in this input pin the C and NC will become open and C and NO will become closed. So it's basically the relay will switch from C and C circuit to C and O circuit. So uh, I'll explain the working by connecting a motor as a load on the other side and giving input from a big controller. Uh, before that I'll uh, show you how I'll be giving the connections. So my uh, VC pin will be connected to uh, 5 volts and my ground pin will be connected to ground and my input pin of the relay will be connected to the GPIO of a microcontroller. So, uh, which in turn will be giving the trigger for the input and at the ends at the output terminal side from NO I will have one terminal of the motor connected the other side will go to the negative of my cell and the positive of my cell will be connected back to C now this is going to be my circuit so initially when I don't have any input on this pin, my C and NC will be connected. The moment I have an input at this pin, the relay will switch and my C and NO will get connected. This whole circuit a closed loop and then my motor will be rotating. So let's see how it works. As I explained, I have made uh, the same connections uh, here. So let's <clears throat> let's power this up and see how it works. So as you can see, uh, the LED is basically giving an input to the relay. So I have connected the LED and the input pin to the same GPIO pin of the big controller. So when I have an input trigger, my relay gets switched and uh, my motor rotates. And when the input is not available, the relay gets switched back to the C N C connection and the motor stops rotating when I have the input triggered I have C and NO becoming a closed loop and then the motor rotates I hope the video is clear thanks for watching have a nice day keep subscribed thank you